it's Nat again. Today we're doing traditional marketing versus digital media marketing. Now, marketing itself has changed a lot in the in in the fact that more and more companies are using digital media marketing and relying on digital media marketing to get their marketing done. Done. Traditional marketing has taken a bit of a step back, simply because it's not as effective in terms of growth as the digital media marketing is and it doesn't allow for a really good feedback mechanism which is fast and effective however it is still being used and traditional media uh, marketing should not be uh, overlooked it sh simply isn't probably the first choice for most companies these days now let's have a look at the difference or what traditional marketing actually involves. Traditional marketing um, revolves around a more indirect and generalized form of marketing. It usually involves appealing to TV, radios, movies, billboard, telephones, uh, uh, and through the post. It involves a usually generalized advertisements, uh, very highly marketed and commercial content, and paid systems. Uh, things like the print media, newspapers, magazines, newsletters, uh, press releases, they're all activities that traditional media uh, undertakes. It, print media, newspapers, magazines, newsletters, press releases have pretty much almost been replaced by digital media. So in that sense you'll see less and less and less of them being used. Also they're much more expensive. So is TV, radio, movies, billboards, telephones and posts. But they do still have a place in, in marketing uh, because they occupy the physical world and as long as we go out and as long as we watch uh, meet other medias for entertainment uh, marketing will always use those channels uh, traditional advertising um, in traditional marketing is more generalized content that appeals to a much very wide a much wider target audience usually you know, uh, fragmented down by age or income or location um, or um, philosophy, lifestyle, belief system, that sort of thing. It, it's limited in content, really. Go away. It's limited in content and it doesn't reach as many people as social uh, or digital marketing does uh, in the current space. Uh, it's been okay while uh, more people uh, or less people use social media networks, but now that more and more people use social media networks and their mobile devices to search and look uh, for things for their entertainment and their activities and their lifestyles in general and um, jobs everything it's fair to say that uh, traditional advertising uh, no longer serves the right purpose um, you can be more targeted with your content in the digital space traditional advertising that's still being used things like jingles that's still popular even though it's not you may not play it on the radio um, and events, uh, that's quite popular. We st we're still quite a outgoing sort of um, species. So while we like uh, to look at digital media, we love to engage in the traditional sense as well. So events are probably still a good place for traditional marketing, effective traditional marketing. Also, some of the traditional marketing te marketing techniques, which don't sort of uh, aren't really 
that popular now is public relations. This was a, really you would class that as an agency between uh, potential customers and the um, a brand. However, that's public relations is almost exclusively now for really really large organizations because you once you get into the digital space you are your own public relations and sponsored events that also happen that still happens uh, at large uh, corporate events such as um, car racing uh, sports anything where there's a big gathering of people uh, in the physical world how digital media differs or how digital media marketing differs is that digital marketing media allows you to have many many different kinds of platforms or types of platforms you may have different TV channels that you want to advertise on but the amount of digital platforms available make it a lot easier uh, for you to do your marketing yourself you've got still you can have your own digital channels now you don't have to rely on someone else's channel so you can create your own channel which later becomes part of your advertising and you can create your own podcasts which basically have taken the um, place of radio or traditional radio although traditional radio is still quite um, a, a, a big advertising space is not as uh, big as digital um, broadcasting. Also, you you have the ability to send things directly in a much more faster way rather than a billboard or through the post. You can design websites to attract people, send out emails, become more engaged with directly with people in a much quicker, faster way. Digital advertising in dig in and digital media marketing is different in that it's platform specific. You may have in the past put the same advert or the same jingle across different channels. Digital advertising allows you to become more targeted. That is like uh, you, uh, if you've seen the digital uh, marketing versus social media marketing video, you will have found out that your uh, marker is now segmented across different platforms and which have their own identity and their own uh, usability uh, so the various formats which means that you can become more targeted you don't have to rely on spending lots of money on just that one advert that may or may not work for a long 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 time you can go through quick edit uh, quick reviews and quick edits and upgrade and update your content to suit and become more and more compared not co competitive or uh, engaging in the digital advertising world something which you, which you did have in a traditional marketing world but not to the same extent and that's influencers which would probably be akin to critics or uh, um, regular columnists in a traditional public media like a newspaper or magazine you've got sponsored content too which uh, you can can be embedded goes back to the traditional advertising uh, methods of TV where your content is part of uh, your um, uh, your channel, uh, your actual product placing uh, can be embedded into whatever other content or entertainment value you might give your potential clients and customers and of course it's got the ability to do analytics in a very very specific defined way which is just not possible with traditional marketing and that's really one of its main attractions is the automated part of analytics and of course there's digital networking which allows you to keep in touch with a lot more groups a lot more forums a lot more pages that you would be able to actually uh, attend say in a physical world in the physical world because of restrictions in geographical restrictions or uh, traveling restrictions or isolation of any kind and of course you've got the networking platforms uh, which are especially uh, intended to connect people in in a business way so that's never really been part of 